Okay, let's be real. The world of AI is moving at lightning speed. I mean, every single day there's a new model, a new technique, some new debate making headlines. Trying to keep up with it all, it honestly feels like you're trying to drink from a fire hose, right? And because of that, have you ever felt like, I don't know, a tourist who's just completely lost in this new world? You're trying to figure out a language filled with crazy terms like GPT-5, context engineering, and get this, nano bananas. Yeah. If that's you, you are definitely not alone. It's so easy to feel like you just need a guide to make sense of it all. Well, that is exactly what we have today. Think of this fantastic infographic. This is going to be our map. It's so clear, it's wonderfully organized, and it just cuts right through all that noise. It gives us this perfect bird's eye view of the entire AI universe right as it is today. So, think of me as your tour guide for the next few minutes. And this is our itinerary. First, we're going to navigate this whole universe. Then, we'll take a look under the hood at the AI brains. After that, we'll figure out how to talk to the AI, see what we can actually do with it, think about the big picture, and finally, find a good starting point for you. Sound good? Let's dive in. All right, so first things first. With every good journey, you got to understand the map, right? This one is broken down into five key areas. We're going to explore them one by one, and our trip is going to take us all the way from the super technical stuff to the more philosophical side of things. Okay, our first major stop on this tour. We're going straight to the core of it all, the AI brains. You can think of these models as the engines that power literally everything we're talking about. So this section of our map, it's all about the latest updates and the really foundational concepts. And here we go, we're zooming right in on that first main section, AI models and updates. This part is all about the what. You know, what are the latest models? Why do they act the way they do? It covers everything from how much these new models cost, all the way to why, let's be honest, ChatGPT can sometimes feel a little generic. And what's really interesting here is the kind of terminology that's just popping up. I mean, look at this, Nano Banana Pro. It sounds absolutely ridiculous, right? But it perfectly captures just how wild and creative and yet, sometimes confusing the naming conventions are in the AI space. You really have to wonder, what would a nano banana model even do? Maybe it's for generating banana bread recipes? Who knows? It's just a great reminder that this whole field is being defined as we speak. Now this right here highlights one of the most important ideas in modern AI. Context is all you need. Seriously, this is the key to getting great results. So, for example, instead of just asking write about dogs, which is super vague, you'd give it context. You'd say, okay, you are a veterinarian. Now write a blog post for new puppy owners about the three most important things to do in their first week. See the difference? That extra detail is absolutely everything. It really is all about the setup. Okay, so let's move on to our next stop. We've seen the engines, but now how do we actually drive the car? That brings us to the art and science of talking to AI which you've probably heard of. It's called prompt engineering. And this section of our map, this is basically the how-to guide. It is just packed with techniques for getting the AI to give you what you actually want. We're talking about everything from how to avoid those long rambling answers to making sure it understands your instructions perfectly. Okay, this might be my favorite tip from the entire map, and apparently it's the most popular one. Stop being polite. Isn't that wild? We have this natural human instinct to say please and thank you, right? But to an AI, it's, it's just noise. It can actually confuse the instruction. So being super direct and clear gets you a much, much better result. It's not about being rude. It's just about being efficient. All right, so we know what the models are, and we've got some ideas on how to talk to them. But the big question is, what can we actually do with all this? Our next stop covers that vast world of real-world applications and skills. This is where the theory really meets practice. And when you look closely at this section, you really start to see the sheer breadth of what's possible. I mean, this is so much more than just writing essays. We're talking about creating entire business plans, generating incredible images, restoring old photos, and even looking at how AI is totally changing entire industries, like consulting. And just check out some of these specific skills. Vibe code an app without coding? I mean, what does that even mean? It sounds like you could just describe a feeling, a vibe, and it'll generate an app from that. That is amazing. And then you've got the seven deadly sins of prompting, which sounds like a must read guide on what you should never do if you want to avoid getting terrible results. It really just goes to show how AI is becoming this super powerful tool for creativity, for business, for branding, everything. 
All right, let's take a breath. We're gonna step back from the practical, hands-on stuff for a second and head up to the summit view. Our fourth major stop is all about the bigger picture. You know, the philosophy, the big debates, and all the profound questions that AI is bringing to the surface. So this part of the map is really here to encourage us to think critically. It's not just about using AI, it's about understanding its impact. And it touches on everything, from the idea of training your own models to how this technology might be fundamentally changing the very way we think and learn. And this, this captures the central tension in the AI world just perfectly. On one side of the coin, you've got these articles about how to make AI battle for you, framing it like this powerful ally in your corner. But then, on the other side, you've got these cautionary tales like how ChatGPT makes you dumb. The truth, as it usually is, is probably somewhere in the middle. And this map does a great job of inviting us to really consider both sides. Hey, here's a term that connects right back to what we were talking about earlier. Context engineering. It's basically the formal name for being the architect of the information you feed the AI. And this isn't just some casual tip. It's becoming the core skill for getting reliable, accurate results instead of those, you know, generic high school level essays we all want to avoid. And just like that, we've reached our final stop. So after seeing the whole landscape, the tools, the big ideas, you're probably asking, okay, so where do I even begin? Well, this section is kind of like the souvenir shop at the end of the tour. It's where you get all the resources you need to go start your own adventure. Yeah, this final piece of our map, it points you directly to real, actionable guides and resources. Think of it as the ultimate starting block. It highlights free guides, some really important papers, and even step-by-step -step setup tutorials. And the key takeaway here is that this map doesn't just dump a bunch of information on you and then leave. No, it gives you a clear path forward. So whether you're looking for free guides or you want to do a deep dive into some research papers that are described as a gold mine, or you just need a simple setup tutorial, the directions are all right here for you. And that brings us to the end of our guided tour. We've navigated the models, the methods, the applications, and even the philosophy. You see, this infographic is so much more than just a list of trends. It really is a map to a brand new, rapidly expanding universe. So the only question left is, now that you have the map, what are you going to discover?